For most patients, getting stitches to close a wound is like adding insult to injury. But a new technology could replace the need for painful needlework or staples, while also reducing scarring. Researchers have developed a way to use lasers to bind tissues together and speed up healing. The technique uses a sticky medical dye that bonds the collagen molecules in the skin back together when it is exposed to green laser light. Using biodegradable optical fibers, the laser can be delivered deep inside the injury to stick it together. Tests showed the method could bond a wound in pig skin together in around 15 minutes. The scientists behind the technology say it could be used following surgery and could be particularly useful for repairing internal injuries. It could also be used to repair superficial wounds to the skin that would normally require stitches, bringing hopes of a Star Trek-style dermal regenerator. Professor Malti Gather, a biophotonics expert at St. Andrews University who has been leading the research, said the biodegradable optical fibers could overcome the shortcomings of previous attempts to use lasers to assist healing. He said most laser light can barely penetrate through the upper layers of skin, meaning it has a limited effect on bonding tissue together. However, the optical fiber inserts developed by his team can be clipped off while still inserted in the wound and will then be absorbed by the body. Professor Gather added the technology could also help to reduce scarring. A variety of optical techniques, such as photochemical tissue bonding and photodynamic therapy, require efficient delivery of light deep into tissues, but the current limited penetration of light in tissue constitutes a serious constraint in clinical use, he said. Having biocompatible and bioabsorbable optical components may transform photomedicine from a discipline where light is predominantly applied externally, to a new paradigm based on tissue-integrated and precisely controlled delivery and collection of light. Without the waveguide optical fiber insert developed by Professor Gather and his team, laser light penetrates less than 5 mm into skin. However, with their inset, they were able to get the light to extend more than 23 mm, nearly 1 inch, into a wound. The technique, known as nanosuturing, accelerates the natural healing process by helping collagen molecules in tissues to bond together. Collagen is a protein found in the connective tissues such as skin, muscles, bone, and tendons, where it forms a scaffold to give them strength. When a wound heals collagen fibers bond together across the gap and pull the skin together. However, in nanosuturing, using rose bengal dye and green light can speed up the process. When exposed to green laser light, the dye steals electrons from collagen molecules in the skin, causing them to form covalent bonds with collagen on the other side of the wound. The researchers, whose results are published in the journal Nature Communications, found that using their waveguide they were able to for bounds in pig skin that were nearly six times stronger than conventional nanosuturing. Professor Gather said, We demonstrate an application to photochemical tissue bonding, for which a thin flexible waveguide comb is inserted into a skin incision model to deliver light uniformly along the full thickness of the skin tissue. This allows watertight cross-linking between the tissues to be formed in situ, the waveguide need not be removed from the site after the procedure, as it is eventually biodegraded and absorbed by the tissue. He added their biodegradable waveguides could also be used for monitoring health, controlling light-activated drugs and the new field of optogenetics, where light is used to trigger the activity of neurons. He said, this paradigm-shifting approach is expected to impact a variety of applications in the field of photomedicine, such as health monitoring, controlled drug release and chronic photodynamic therapy.